what is really going on with so many of fellow Christians today? What is really going on? First, you were totally deceived into being afraid and surrendering all your rights because of COVID-19. Now I'm seeing that some are participating in the celebration of other religions, um, festivities. Don't you know, firstly, that we shouldn't be succumb to fear of any illness, no matter what it is, right? It's natural to be a little afraid, but we cannot live in complete fear. We cannot be willing to surrender all our rights and be deceived by the governments of this world whose agenda is to introduce the new world order. The agenda also is to introduce the one world religion and this is where my other point comes in now. Why, 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 why are we encouraging, we are supposed to be encouraging others to remain in their false religions when we are supposed to be the light of the world we are supposed to be different we are supposed to be wooing them to come to christianity and christianity is not a religion christianity is having faith in jesus christ as lord and savior that is what being a christian is supposed to be about that's why i don't call myself by any denomination i say i'm a born again christian right you're supposed to know and acknowledge that Jesus said, He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can go to the Father through, but through Him. Not through Allah, not through Muhammad, not through anyone. So listen carefully and remember this. Allah is not God the Father. Allah is definitely not Jesus. Muhammad certainly isn't Jesus. So why are we fornicating with these other religions? Why are we committing adultery with these other religions? What is really going on in the minds of Christians today? Chrislam isn't real. The unification of Christ, the Christian faith with the Muslim faith is something of the devil that is not real. Allah and the Heavenly Father is not the same. We do not worship the same God. We do not worship the same God. Why are we, in, instead of encouraging them and wooing them to come to Christ, we're encouraging them to celebrate the, 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 um, their festivals? Why? How is that helping them come to salvation? You are being... You, you, you are being counterproductive. You're being used by the devil to deceive these people into thinking they, that they can remain lost in their Islamic religion when they're supposed to repent and acknowledge Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and turn away from their false God. When you participate in their religious festivities, you are telling them it is okay. We serve the same God so you could remain as a Muslim and still enter the gates of heaven. When we know very well that Jesus is the only way to be saved. Jesus is the only way that we can have a relationship with God the Father. So why? Why are we playing games with other people's salvation? And why are you playing games with your own because you cannot serve two masters. And this is not about weaknesses. Because I'm not perfect at all. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. I'm not perfect at all. None of us are. But this is not about perfection. This is not about works. This is about serving more than one master. And you cannot serve more than one master, people. You cannot. Our God is a jealous God. You cannot be worshipping or participating in the acknowledging or worshipping of another God 
and still claim that you are a Christian, that you are a believer in Jesus Christ, because Jesus made it very clear, very clear, that you cannot have two masters. You cannot love or serve both. You either hate one and love the other. You cannot be claiming to be a Christian, yet holding on to other religions. That is utter nonsense. That is madness and it needs to stop. And besides your own personal salvation, you are deceiving others into, going, into remaining into their own false religion and then they are not going to enter the kingdom of heaven because only through Jesus Christ can we enter the kingdom of heaven. Stop the nonsense, please.